So the abilities of uh, AI models like large language models or reasoning models are improving on a regular basis. Now, when these models first came out, we asked them fairly simple questions like, give me five ideas for a birthday party or something like that. However, I wanted to see whether these things are now capable of much more. So in this video, I've asked an AI model to design a new computer programming language. I gave it the criteria of what I wanted for that computer programming language, and then to implement it as an interpreter. This is my journey, this is what happened, and the results are quite interesting. So if you wanna find out more, please let me explain. Okay, so my goal was to get ChatGPT, and I started with ChatGPT4, and then ChatGPT4, uh, 01 came out, so I ended up using ChatGPT 01 Mini. So the idea was to get ChatGPT to design and implement as an interpreter a programming language. My job was to create the best prompts to achieve that goal, and the result was Essence Lang, but more about that in a moment. So with the first prompt, I said, you are an AI thinker, a creator of ideas. Think about how you would design a new programming language with a very small vocabulary, a simple syntax, a minimalistic language. Don't try to implement it, just think about it. And the result was from ChatGPT4 at that point, designing a new programming language with a minimalist approach is a fascinating challenge. Well, thank you very much. Let's envision a language called Essence Lang. The core philosophy behind Essence Lang is simplicity, clarity, and minimalism, making it easy to learn and use, particularly for beginners or for specific use cases where complexity is unnecessary. And then there was a full 400 word reply talking about Essence Lang. So now I moved over to ChatGPT 01 Mini. You are an AI software engineer. You are designing a new program language called Essence Lang. It has a minimal vocabulary and a simple syntax, blah, blah, blah. Read the notes below and then suggest some initial syntax for the language. And then I gave it that 400 word reply. And this is what it came up with. So this is Essence Lang as designed by 01 Mini. So for variable declaration, let variable name is and then a value. So for example, let count is 10, let message is hello, uh, and so on. And then for things like functions, it said define function name with parameters, and then you give it the parameters do, and then it ends with an end. So here's an example, define greet with parameters name, do, say hello, plus name, uh, and then you could say greet with Alice, and that will say hello, Alice, exclamation mark. So that's the kind of syntax it was thinking. And here is a sample program where you can ask for user input, you can say something, there's a for loop, there's a function, uh, and so on. So this is really the beginning of here of a language with simple input, output, for loops, functions, uh, and things like that. So now really the next thing to do was to get to implement this as a interpreter. Considering everything, this is a good thing, you can use the context, you don't have to keep repeating, it, it remembers what you've chatted about. So considering everything we've discussed so far about Essence Lang, write an interpreter for Essence Lang in C. It needs to be able to run the following uh, Essence Lang from section 10, and that's basically this code here. So I said I want it to be able to run that program. Okay, so it went ahead and it created. Below is the complete C code for the Essence Lang interpreter. So it was around 600 lines of code, C code. Now I cut and paste that, of course, into a file and went ahead and compiled it. Uh, unfortunately, it did not compile. But I cut and paste the error into it and asked it to fix it, which it did, and it then worked. So then I started testing the interpreter and it worked. It ran that program, that sample 10 program, okay? But there were some bugs which I asked 01 Mini to fix. So for example, the following section of the sample program didn't work. The output of the sum is five when the result should be 12 because it says add five and seven. So I said, there is a bug in the interpreter. Can you find it? Here is the section of essence lang that didn't work. So I'm giving it the essence lang, not telling it about the source code for the interpreter, I'm giving it the essence lang and saying, this line here doesn't give the right result. And uh, it went ahead and it fixed it. And then I said, uh, can you uh, enhance the interpreter so you can load files passing by a command line? So you can basically say, el, essence lang, main.el, and it will run that script. And it was able to do that. Then I asked it to add in different types of for loops, better for loops. So 4i is one to seven, 4i is one to n, and so on. And it was able to do that. So here's a demo of essence lang running. Okay, so here I am at the command prompt, 
And so let's look at the essence lang program we want to run, main.el. So what does it says? It says, uh, ask, it asks the user to type in their name, says hello. Then we've got a loop here that goes from uh, one, it just throws in one, two, three, four, five, goes through all the items in the loop, then prints out the number. There's a function here that adds up two numbers. Notice here that plus here has been implemented as a plus B. That was part of the way that ChatGPT uh, visualized or invented the language. Then we say add with five plus seven. That should uh, give us the result because it's it uses that say here to print that out. And then uh, finally, we do another plus here, seven plus 11. And then we say goodbye using the username that you typed in here at the very top. So very simple. This is nothing particularly complicated, but it just shows the workings of the language. OK, so what we do now is we got the interpreter here, EL, which is just a direct simple compilation from the source code. And we pass in main.el as the program. And so what is your name? Gary. And then we get hello, Gary. One, two, three, four, five. The sum is 12, 18, which is this one here. Say X for that. And then goodbye, Gary, because that's the name I typed in. So there you go. Uh, Essence Lang actually running. Now, while that is brilliant and very impressed that I've got a 730 line uh, interpreter that can run this very basic uh, programming language that it itself designed, it did start to go wrong at this point. So everything was generated by OI Mini. I didn't have to go in and understand the code myself. I haven't gone in and tried to fix any of it myself, but there are still bugs. The, co the code compiles and it runs. However, the essence lang doesn't always do what it's meant to do. For example, for loops inside of a function don't work. So if you define a function, then you put a for loop inside of it, it just simply, it doesn't work. So getting O1 Mini to fix these bugs didn't go uh, as expected. I was expecting it to be able to cope with it because you saw I did earlier things like add for, implement for loops or make it accept the, the, uh, the script from a parameter. And it was able to do all of that. However, repeated attempts to get O1 Mini to fix the bugs either resulted in no fix, which was the best case scenario where the program just still did it, the interpreter still behaved in exactly the same way, or more bugs were introduced. So in fact, the code that came out was actually worse. And beyond this point, I wasn't able to progress. The Essence Lang interpreter as it stands today, which will be in my GitHub repository as created by O1 Mini, none of it's been touched by me. That's the state of play as it is now. It seems that around 700 lines of complex code is the limit for O1 Mini, and that's brilliant. That's absolutely amazing, but it's we now know what that limit is. And so what are the solutions? Well, a more modular approach, maybe I could define uh, the interpreter at, with a better kind of interface between different modules with an API and say, look, this function just does this and then kind of do some of the design myself and kind of split it up into smaller tasks and then get O1 Mini to handle those individual tasks. Or maybe the full release of O1 will be better. Okay, so there you have it, Essence Lang, all the highs and all the lows. Love to hear your thoughts in the comments below about two things. One is, what do you think of Essence Lang? You know, is it just, well, that's just crazy. Why would you do it that way? Or do you find that interesting, the, the model, the language that the AI model came up with? And do tell me what you think about the failures of the uh, model in reaching its full potential in programming that interpreter. Do you see that as a failure? Is that what you'd expect? Do you see a solution? Love to hear your thoughts. Okay, that's it. My name's Gary Sims. This is Gary Explains. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you like these kind of videos, why not stick around by subscribing to the channel? Okay, that's it. I'll see you in the next one.